I'm gonna walk you through how I make an insane amount of content every single day. So I'm gonna walk you through how I make an insane amount of content every single day. So the first thing is like, you should be putting out a lot of content on your social media. Just like you should drink water every day and have your veggies, you also should be posting every single day. You should be showing up. Because the reality is, is a lot of people, I see too many winners be in the game and they're not making money in their business. I'm like, you do not have a business if you're not making money. If you're not making money, you have a hobby, you don't have a business. So the way that you fix this is by overcoming the initial inertia in your business and you start getting into action and you take action, which builds the momentum, which builds the manifestation. First, we start with the moves, then comes the momentum, then comes the manifestation. So what I do inside my business is I create an insane amount of content. So right now I'm filming a YouTube video, which I'm also going to turn it into a podcast episode, which I'm also recording on my cell phone on the side over here so I can repurpose it for TikTok and YouTube shorts. Very simply here, I am making one, two, three, four, and these episodes get sent out via email, five pieces of content, and it's only been one minute since I started recording this, one minute and 15 seconds. You have got to stop being a perfectionist in your social media and just start focusing on quantity. When you start focusing on quantity, posting 10 TikToks a day, five TikToks a day, three TikToks a day, posting on Instagram every day, uploading to YouTube every day, wherever you're doing, getting your emails out, the quality will come. The quality will come. If you can't even get your butt to the gym, we can't even focus on your form because you simply can't get your butt to the gym. Right? How are we exposed? How are we supposed to fix your downward dog, your pelvic tilt in your downward dog, if you can't even get to the yoga class? So the first thing is like you got to start posting content. You got to get the content out there. And by the way, stop thinking about am I is this good or bad? Just post it. Post it. Post it. <laughs> you got to get your content out there. I don't care if you don't feel like doing it. Do it anyways. Post it, even if it's not perfect. Through the quantity is where the quality will come. Through you getting on the mat and getting in the yoga pose, the downward dog is where we'll find out, are you actually good at the downward dog or do we need to shift some things? Do we need to play with your, your weight that you have in your hands, with how you're breathing? But if you're not actually posting every day, we have zero data. We do not know what is good and what is bad, what is working and what is not working. And so the consistency is going to be more important in the beginning. And then once you overcome that, and that's just running on its own, right? It's, it's a no brainer that you post every day. If you just do one thing and you post it for 365 days, I guarantee you would have a very successful business. But you see where most people mess up is they're not posting every day. They say they're in it. They invest in a program. They don't do the work. They don't take action or whatever it is. They have 500 million excuses and then they wonder why they're not signing on clients. Posting every day, uh, or uh, what is it, what is it at? Um, not posting every day and then wondering why your audience is ghosting you or not signing on or not getting clients is like not eating vegetables every day and then wondering why you feel like doo-doo. It, it's simple. Post every day then you will get the clarity on what is actually working. I love it. I saw it once on TikTok. Some guy said he was being interviewed. He has like a couple million followers. And he said, um, somebody asked him how, like, what's the secret for going viral? And he said, post a thousand times and then you'll know the secret for going viral. And I just, I absolutely love that because it's true. Post every day and then you'll know how to go viral. Post every day and you'll know how to get clients. Think, think, think. There was this quote recently. It was like 95% uh, of the population doesn't think. 3% thinks they're thinking and 2% is actually thinking. And I 1,000% believe in this. And sometimes I will even waver between the 3 and the 2% of thinking I'm thinking and actually thinking. Think for a second. Look at people's posts that are going viral. Look at people's posts and companies that are doing well. And then look at yours and identify the difference. It's like a game. If, if your video is extremely blurry, 
and dark, and this video is extremely bright and light and clear, and this one goes viral and this one doesn't, well, let, let's play the game on what are the differences. Oh, mine's blurry. Let me fix that. But you see, most people won't even play the game and be like, what do I need to fix? They'll just, they'll keep posting the blurry, dirty ass videos and then wonder why they're not getting clients. Why no one's like, because your videos look bad. Don't you see that? Don't you, are you thinking, hello? Same thing with text on the screen. If this person texts, on all of their videos, it's like above their head, they have a hook statement, they're using trending audio, you see them using hashtags, look at their body language, what are they doing? And then your text is like all over the place, you're not using trending audios, you're, you, maybe you're like way too close to the camera or whatever it is, and then you're sitting here wondering why is it not going out? Well, look at it, it looks bad. Play the game. <laughs> What's different between the two? They're doing this and you're doing that. Success leaves clues. Success leaves clues. This is why when you go hiking on a crazy ass trail, you hire an expert. Because the expert knows, they know which trails to go down and which trails to avoid. They're the guy. So go find the guy. Go find the person that's already successful and model them. Do not copy them because that, that will not work. Model them. If they're confident, find out how they're confident and then you be confident. If they're posting high quality videos, you post high quality videos. If they're selling to their audience and you're noticing a, an, you're noticing a pattern in the way they're showing up, Start doing the same thing. And this is by all, this is not copying people. Do not get it twisted. If you're getting it twisted, you can just leave this video right now. You can just leave. I don't, I'm not talking to those people. I'm talking to people that understand this. You understand this. Success leaves clues. What are they doing that's working? Look at your, look at your posts. Look at your Instagram stories. If they have like beautiful backgrounds and Instagram stories and yours look terrible, let's play the game. If you can just this week, just play that game of where are the success clues and where are, am I losing? And then just flip it and say, okay, well, they're, what they're doing right there is working. So let me try that on my own business. Let me try that. And so in the beginning of this video, I said, episode, I said, I'm going to show you how I make a ton of content, but this is what I do all day long. Like whenever I'm on social media, I'm like, what's working? What's working? What's not working? Because clearly they know something I don't know, or they have done more action. They've done more reps than me. So let me get my reps in. Let me model them and let me get my reps in. Every downward dog on a person looks absolutely different. But do we all do the same downward dog? Yes. Why? Because it works. I'm going off on this episode. I'm going off. <laughs> Go find the clues. Then when you post social media, post it, post it, post it, post anyways. Even if you think it looks bad, you do the quality, you do the quantity, then the quality comes. I want you to post every single day for the next 365 days on every single platform. Done. That's what the A players are doing. You see Gary V posting multiple times per day on every platform. And do you think Gary V needs money? No. So why do you think you're exempt from posting every single day? <laughs> I think I, I talk about posting every single day um, all the time, but I think eventually I'm going to, I'm going to stop talking about it because eventually every single person in my world is going to get the vibe that you just got to post every day. And that's just it. <laughs> that's how it is now. All my mastermind clients, private clients are like, I got it. Posting every day is showing up because that's when the clarity comes. And it's going to take time. It's going to take time. This is not a microwave. This is life. You got to show up every day, even when it's challenging. It's not going to be like that. But if you show up every day and you put in the quantity, the quality will come. 
So I want you to record, 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 and post, and post, and post, and record, and record, and record, and record, and post, and post, and post. Freedom Queen, if this episode felt like it loved and it shocked you, comment, send me a message on Instagram, at Bridget James Ling on Instagram, at Bridget James Ling. Let me know if this is for you. I freaking love this episode because I know it pushed you beyond what you thought was possible. And I know where you're going is fucking magical. Freedom Queen, I will see you in the next one.